Excuse me. Wow. This stuff is so bold. This is tinted moisturizer, people. If you have brown skin, get this lip color. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. I mean, who is this with a nose piercing? I really love the nose piercing on me. I was contemplating it for a while. I did used to have it when I was super young. I say that like I'm really, really mature, but I'm only 27. <laughs> but um, yeah, I used to have one when I was 16, 15 or 16, and I took it off because it, first of all, it was done with a gun when it shouldn't be. It should be done with a needle. But yeah, it wasn't healing properly, and I think it was because it was done with a gun. But I love it. It's, it's still healing. I'm trying to not put makeup on it. I've been doing a lot of... <laughs> I've been doing a lot of videos on TikTok and Instagram trying out products. Diwali's gone by. It's not even Guy Fawkes Day and there's just so much fireworks, like more than Diwali. Like, guys, it's not even Guy Fawkes Day. I'm just going to fill my eyebrows until this person next to me finishes their fireworks, okay? Eyebrows are almost filled in. I'm using the P. Louise Oh So Beautiful Brow Pencil in the shade Mochaccino. It's so good. And yeah, I've been really using this every day. It's quite affordable. I, my go-to brow pencil is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black, but this one's been pretty good. For me then i haven't shared this on youtube yet but this is the pink honey brow glue it's really good it's first of all it just smells so good but what i like to do it does come with a hole inside the product like this so i like to just spritz some setting spray in there it's kind of really thick paste and i just brush it in to my brows this is if you want a more natural look like if you want that super lifted brow look then you can just do this first really lift the brows and your brows won't budge but yeah i really like this stuff i definitely prefer the bare brow gel because it's instant i'm just gonna grab my usual Too faced bonus weight concealer because i just want to carve out my brows super controversial but the other day i watched uh don't worry darling and i know a lot of people didn't like it but i found it super creepy like Okay, it's not the best film out there. I don't know if I like Harry Styles as an actor necessarily, but it's creepy. It was giving um, Black Mirror vibes. I don't know if you guys have watched Black Mirror, but anyways, I love horror and thriller stuff. So I thought it was good. It's so funny. The lights in the back aren't flickering, but the camera's making it flicker. It's so weird. For eyeshadow, we're going to be using the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. I haven't even used this yet. I don't even know what shades to go for, but I think I'm going to go in with Get It because it's a very different shade. Very, It's like very peachy. What's another thing I watch? I think, oh yeah, we did go watch Smile, which I think I mentioned it on the vlog. I do forget that I do vlog for YouTube, but that was okay like again a decent horror i'm now gonna go in with the shade legacy in the just underneath that peachy shade i feel like out of all eyeshadow palettes huda beauty palettes are my like go-to and this empowered one is really versatile because you can create some really soft glam looks but also full glam i think i'm gonna take the shade limitless because it's literally screaming my name Oh, it's more of like a, a sparkle, chunky sparkle, and I'm here for it. Just doing the same thing on the other side, but look how pigmented that is. There is, this is very different, but there's a cream in here, so we're going to try that. I'm going to do a smoky liner with this look. I feel like it's going to look so good. So I'm going to grab the shade Purpose. Just see like how pigmented it is really. I know Huda Beauty wasn't going to put some weak ass black shade in here. This cream is so good. I'm going to blend the shade Confident just on top of that to really smoke it out really. Just cleaning up that wing. A slight fallout but... I'm just gonna wipe that all off. 
but honestly i'm loving this smoky sultry look it's super sparkly what's really good is that you also have a cream brown in here but overall i'm really liking this palette but look at this here are your two creams you can see the shine and then here you've got kind of shadowed it's like a I can't, I don't know how to show you guys, but there's like this clear gloss in it. It's weird. So I'm just going to swatch this. Yeah, it's just like a pure metallic shade. Wow. So yeah, overall so far, again, never disappointed with Huda Beauty products. I do prefer the larger palettes compared to the small square ones, although there are some of them that I really do use a lot. Gold Obsessions. I've used this a lot guys so yeah based on my first impressions really like that um i'm gonna curl my lashes one mascara that i've been loving lately is the max factor 2000 calorie mascara i did work on a campaign with them just a disclaimer but it's really good it's funny because like it's not like the typical typical brush i like to go for but it grips, it gives volume, it lasts, it doesn't smudge under my eyes. You can check out my TikTok if you want to see like the actual results because I did it without much eyeshadow so you can really see the effect of this mascara but it's so good, it's affordable. I mean I could stop there but we're going to put some lashes. I did get a package from falseeyelashes.co.uk. They stock so many lashes on there like from all different brands. So easy to shop from them and I've always like bought lashes from them even from years back because they just have such a wide variety i mean i'm not being paid to say this but they're a good website guys if you're looking for lashes and they sent me a few pairs to try do you know what let's try some lily lashes these are the 3d faux mink lashes oh it's it's mykonos they're super super fluffy so let's try these on excuse me these were super hyped lashes and i feel like i don't even need to cut them okay for moisturizer i've been loving the tatcha dewy skin cream this deserve every hype it's gotten it's lush and i definitely will be repurchasing this this was gifted but i've tried all of the creams like the silk cream is really nice i think it's my second favorite the lashes are slightly drying but they're absolutely stunning they're really nice and they definitely suit me but like i said i'm going to be applying the tatcha dewy skin cream the silk one is amazing i'm not a fan of the water one because i have super dry skin i feel like the water one is more for like combo oily combo skin but this is so lush my skin has been feeling so supple and it sits really nicely under makeup i obviously don't want to put too much of this because this it does cost a bit you know it's not not everyone's gonna pay so much for a moisturizer but if you are this one is definitely definitely worth it i mean look at my skin look at the glow it's literally so good it's so fancy it literally comes with like a little spoon but overall like tatcha products have been bomb and then speaking of tatcha i'm going to be using the liquid silk canvas this is their primer and it's so 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 good again i don't put too much but it literally smells like a luxurious spa like ugh, it's so nice and it just softens your skin this goes in my makeup kit because i keep this for doing makeup on brides but another primer i have also been loving is the milk makeup Ho hydro grip primer okay so then for my base i didn't do a full review on youtube but i did do a review on my tiktok and instagram i'm going to be using the rare beauty positive light tinted moisturizer in the shade 40n this stuff is so bomb the shade first of all is perfect for me like look at that shade match and i like to use i actually like to use my beauty blender but you can use a brush it definitely gives more like medium coverage but it gives some coverage you know like i'm doing a glam but i recently did a glam a full glam with this product and it looked bomb i just feel like my skin loves these kinds of products and especially lately i just feel like no i do love a, a good coverage foundation but i don't know sometimes i don't want to like pack full coverage stuff on my skin and this is just bomb that's the foundation applied the next product that i've recently tried is the hmb soft focus airbrush concealer in the shade sf 3.5 n i feel like i could have gotten a little bit of a 
bright, uh, lighter shade because this one's super salmon-y. I saw that HMB Cosmetics came out with a luminous foundation, so let me know in the comments if you guys want me to try that on YouTube or just on my TikTok. I just feel like people's attention span has kind of gone, like, that's why, like, everyone just goes for tic to TikTok or Insta for, like, reviews now. But yeah, as you can tell, this stuff's super full coverage. It looks really beautiful, like it blends like a dream. I don't really have a new bronzer, but I have been liking the Pink Honey Cream Bronzer. This one's in the shade Salted Caramel. I don't know if I did show this on YouTube yet, but it's really good. And again, it's really affordable. In with my stippling brush. Maybe I have showed you guys this, I don't know. I try so many products, like I kind of lose track. And I'm trying products for so many platforms, like I literally have to keep up with it all but there are some bomb affordable products out there like that has been coming out but yeah this stuff's really really good I would usually put some on my nose but I try and avoid my nose right now I don't even know if you can see my stud on camera right now I can't see because the lights are blinding me but look at the base this is tinted moisturizer people just a bit of concealer just covered that all I did also get the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus loose powder is in the shade banana i haven't tried baking with this so we're gonna try that today it's a super fine powder and it is nice but i wouldn't say it's like my favorite my favorite go-to powder is either huda beauty easy bake or um, laura mercier translucent setting powder this has been everywhere on tiktok okay it's the Beauty Crop Amelia Olivia Glow Milk Blush. It says to shake well, but this stuff's so good. It's a very bluey tone, like a, basically like a Barbie blue tone pink. And I don't have anything like this, but it's not only the colour that's really nice, it's the formula. It just gives this really, really beautiful glow. And honestly, you don't need that much. And, you know, I have pretty tan skin and it just... It shows up pretty well. What's really nice about this stuff is that it builds really nicely on powder or before powder, but I find that I found that it just sits beautifully either way and it gives the most stunning glow. I'm gonna set my face with the Glow Milk Mist by the Beauty Crop as well in collaboration with Amelia Olivia. Love her TikTok videos. Oh my god, I need to wipe this off. And when the spray is all over, dry, make everything melt together. In the meantime, I'm going to finish up my eyes and I'm going to go with something different. I think I'm going to go in with Courageous just to switch it up a bit. I'm going to apply Courageous in my inner corner. It's super dark, like... This is not an inner corner shade. Okay, we need to take this off. We need to take this off ASAP. Oh my God. I'm just gonna go in with Confident. I honestly can't get over these lashes. They're literally so bomb and they sit so comfortably. Like I can barely feel anything. Maybe I should check out more Lily eyelashes. Then for lips, a recent favourite that was actually sent to me for Diwali is by Estee Lauder. It's their Pure Colour Whipped Matte Lip Colour and it's in the shade Cocoa Whip. Guys, watch this. Alright, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, this lipstick is so good for brown skin and can we just get a moment for shade match because I haven't applied anything here and it's really hard for me to match to this because this is super pale yeah i love everything that i use in this video like there's nothing that i didn't love there's been some bomb products out there and i really miss filming makeup videos for youtube so definitely let me know what you guys want to see from me but this video was so fun to make um, I just filmed this for YouTube. I wasn't going to multitask. I just wanted to enjoy filming this makeup video for YouTube. And yeah, it was so worth it. So I literally can't wait for this to go up for you guys. Let me know what products stood out to you. But I think the blush is bomb. The tinted moisturizer, the eyeshadow palette's really pretty. The lashes, everything's so good. Like everything. This lip color, get your hands on it. If you have brown skin, get this lip color. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can join the family. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!